It's uh, looking like Mother Nature's given us a bit of a pass this year in terms of weather. Normally we're talking about early nor'easters or ice, and this year the weather's really great. It's sort of uh, atypical for the beginning of the holiday travel season where typically at our office of Fido where it's all hands on deck and we're trying to relay information to travelers and help our airline operator customers. But things are looking very, very smooth this year. So I think we're going to see a, a good start to the holiday season with very, very few delays and uh, extremely limited cancellations. What, what, um, what have the airlines done to improve it, or is this just a stroke of luck with Mother Nature at this point? Yeah, I mean, it's a combination of things. I mean, certainly the, the good weather makes it really easy, but airlines have been leveraging a lot of mobile technology to try and interact more with travelers and be able to set expectations about delays. That's one of the biggest things. I think everyone can agree that we don't want flights to be canceled and we don't want delays, but if, you, if it's going to happen, if it's inevitable, whether it be weather or some other reason like congestion at an airport, as long as the traveler knows ahead of time, it really allows you to set your expectations, make other plans, and, and know what to expect. And so the airlines are working uh, not only internally with their own IT systems, but with a, the FAA in a project called Collaborative Decision Making and with some other initiatives so that the airlines can set expectations with the FAA about when flights are going to depart. And that way the FAA can better manage congestion with the airports and with the airlines uh, so that when there are delays, they're minimized. Well, let's talk about that. A lot of the de delays are constantly pl blamed on air traffic control, that there are just too many planes that are taking off and no reason that the airline would be able to get around that. What, what was the initiative you just mentioned and how, how does that work? Yeah, so one thing I think that travelers have noticed is that instead of just always taking off and then having a lot of in-route delays or holds, you're running to situations where you board the airplane, you push back, you taxi out, and then the pilot says, okay, well, we've been told by air traffic control that we're going to be delayed for 10, 20, maybe 30, 40 minutes due to congestion. And some people feel like that's frustrating and annoying, which it is, yeah. but it's, a, it's, it's an improvement <laughs> it adds to over it, taking off. Especially if you've got kids on the flight with you and it adds to the time that you're sitting in a crammed seat with the kids all over the place trying to keep That's them from true. kicking the seat in front of them. <laughs> That's right, but it's better than being in the air and having to, having to hold, where the, uh, it's very inefficient, it's expensive, it adds stress to the pilots and air traffic controllers. So they're trying to take these delays on the ground. It's very similar to freeways that when you get on them, there's the red light that tries to meter one car at a time so that it says, look, take a little bit of a delay here and the whole system will run a lot more smoothly. So the FAA is doing that now. And one of the things. Don't that we need a new is, air traffic control monitoring system overall so that you don't need two minutes between planes? I mean, isn't that the equivalent of open? Opening up the freeway with another lane? Yeah, so one thing the FAA is doing with airlines is allowing them to, to basically file multiple flight plans and saying, here, there's the route I want, here's the best route and the time I want to depart, but if it's going to be too busy, I'll accept this route, and if that's too busy, I'll accept this route. It still seems route. like so Band-Aids versus rather, rather just fix the entire system overall so that you can do things with a little better, more advanced technology. Well, it I, makes, I, it, I hear it what makes you're the saying. lanes wider. It makes the lanes wider because it allows you to say, well, instead of taking a 30-minute delay, maybe I'll fly 10 now, minutes uh, longer, cost but, me a little more, but I'll make it there earlier. Okay. Daniel, thanks for your time. It's great talking to you. <laughs> thanks. You too. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Hey there. Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.